This is a demonstration of an ACP startup script for an observatory. Uh, here I'm selecting the startup script uh, from the file system. And now we're going to run it. So the first thing that we're going to do uh, is attach to the weather uh, center, which in this case is Clarity. Uh, we're going to wait about 15 seconds uh, for Clarity and the Boltwood sensor to fully initialize and get data coming back in. And then when that is complete, uh, we'll start the ACP weather server. So in a second here, you should see ACP weather server start up. Uh, we'll give that about 10 seconds. Uh, for it to read the data from the file that Clarity has written out. And when it turns green, then we're good to continue on starting up the observatory. If that were red, in other words unsafe, uh, we would stop at this point in the startup process. Uh, next, we're using the M1 Oasis system for controlling the uh, elk roof controller. Uh, so M1 is started up and you can see over in here it's connected. It knows the roof is closed. Um, after it connects we'll wait about 10 seconds and then um, start the opening of the roof. Uh, what's going to happen now is we run through a loop process uh, checking about every 10 seconds to see what the status of the roof is, whether it's fully open. Uh, we'll wait up to two minutes for our roof to open and at the end of two minutes if we're still not fully open then we'll uh, throw an error and stop the process at that point. All right, fully open. Uh, you probably hear it in the background, but the next thing we do is power up the equipment. We've got a digital loggers remote power switch. And so that kicked on. Um, after kicking that on, we wait about 20 seconds just to give time for everything, all the equipment to power up, the fans, and also for windows to uh, connect to equipment and then uh, assign COM ports. As you can see now, uh, we're launching the SkyX. Uh, the SkyX will launch and be minimized, and we're going to give that about 30 seconds for everything to start up. At the end of the 30 second wait period, uh, we'll connect to the mount. Uh, this is an ME2 in this case. And then uh, tell the mount to uh, find home. All right, so the ME2 is going through its homing uh, routine. Uh, we wait about 30 seconds for that to complete. Uh, completes a lot quicker than that, but we'll just loop through and wait about 30 seconds before uh, continuing on. And then once the mount finishes homing, we'll uh, essentially turn off tracking so it's not following anything at this point in time.
Uh, the next thing that's going to happen, you might see a flash here on the screen. Uh, we're utilizing Maxim DL for camera control. We've got multiple cameras, and so there is a startup script to set the configuration file uh, for Maxim. That script will uh, execute, uh, copying the necessary files to the default. Uh, there was the flash. And then we wait about 15 seconds after that just to make sure all the files have finished copying. And now we're launching Maxim. After the launch, uh, we give Maxim about 15 seconds to get uh, everything fully initialized. And then when that finishes, the next thing we're going to do is uh, connect to the cameras and start the cooling process on the cameras. And here comes the camera control window. You can see it's connected. And if you watch, you can see uh, the cooling power going up and uh, the sensor temperature going down. And we'll cool that to uh, the 20 degrees shown in the window. And then after a few seconds, we will launch Focus Max. And essentially, at that point in time, um, the startup routine for ACP has completed. And you'll see there at the bottom of the screen that uh, we have success in starting up the observatory.